Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the bullpen. He's back. In the bullpen today, we have Mr. Grayson Quay. Uh, he is the news editor at The Daily Caller. He is writing, his writing has been published in National Review and many others. All right. Good to have you back on the show, sir. How are you? Glad to be back. And I actually got a new title since we spoke last, ah. uh, and that is Dad. There you go, man. Congratulations. Thank All you. Right? Congratulations. My daughter uh, just graduated high school last week, so I got her settled into dorm life. So that's the new transition for me. You'll be there in about mm, 17 years or so. <laughs> All right. OK, we're going to chop it up about uh, Ron DeSantis, at where uh, the governor of Florida decided to uh, in an interview, say he's actually running against wokeism, okay? Um, and so naturally, that does not speak to a policy, nor did he illuminate what it meant. I don't want to presume what you know or believe about uh, Governor De Satan running against wokeism. So if you would, give us your opinion and I will opine. Well, look, I'm not a huge fan of the term wokeness. Um, this is a term that comes out of uh, black culture and specifically refers to becoming aware of injustices and inequalities within society. Um, and it's just very interesting to me that this has gone from the counterculture to being discussed in you know, these high level conservative symposia and on the Republican primary campaign trail in just a few short years. You see a similar arc with word based, which I've written about, which has been you know, largely co-opted on the right. So I don't love the word woke, but Honestly, I have trouble thinking of a better word, and sometimes it can be a useful strategy in politics to group all of your opponent's policies under a particular, especially monosyllabic term, and then use that as a club to beat them with. Yeah, it's really interesting. You know, if someone says, I'm running against white supremacist ideology, we basically understand what that means, okay? And we have concluded that, well, Yeah, it's anything racism, the left doesn't like. Say that again? It's anything the left doesn't like, right? Well. Let me ask you a question. Um, are you against white supremacy or for white supremacy? I would say I am against white supremacy. So when I say uh, a person is running against white supremacist ideology, you also mm -hmm. would agree that that's a good thing, correct? Sure, but I have also been called a white supremacist. So when someone says they're running against white supremacist ideology, I question whether they actually mean me. I don't think I'm a white supremacist, but it doesn't really matter what I think. It matters what I got you, man. But you, I mean, you made it about me with. Well, you made it about yourself. I was talking about it in general terms, but my grandmama said a hit dog a holler. So what we'll do is come back a little bit, sure. and I will pose the question and reframe it. Um, when a person says they're running against white supremacist ideology, is that a good thing or a bad thing to you? Well, I need the definition of white supremacist ideology because we've seen a definition from the African American uh, History and Culture Museum that white supremacist ideology means working hard, being on time. Uh, are these white supremacist ideas or is that just being good at your job? You see, this is why people call you a white supremacist. This isn't my right. definition. This is the African American no, no. Museum of History I, and Culture's I understand. definition. I, I understand uh, the point that you're submitting, but I would like you to understand the point I'm submitting. The question was specifically about your opinion about white supremacy. Now, you cannot submit your own opinion. You decided to submit the opinion of another organization. Mm -hmm. uh, and by the way, I have not fact checked what you said, so I can't go down that rabbit hole. But I can say clearly that the question was aimed at you about your feelings about white supremacist ideology. And instead of answering it in the good faith that it was submitted and giving me a direct answer from your own soul about white supremacy, you decided to duck, dodge and deflect back to an African-American institution and their definition of it rather than your own. Do you I not just want to know what is meant by white supremacy? Well, what do you think it means, dear brother? If white supremacy means that people with white skin or European ancestry are inherently in some way superior to people of African ancestry, then no. I disagree well, with that. I think that's an that's abominable ideology. Means, right? 
So, but if white, you want to say, if someone wants to say to me, "Hey, if you believe in showing up to work on time, you're a white supremacist," yeah, that's what can I say to that? You're gonna, yes, you're I gonna am. Keep, you're going to keep making a dumbass argument. Let me say this to you, man. I'm talking about real people. Real people understand real problems. There is nobody that I've ever met in my natural life who believes that white supremacy is coming to work on time. Now, damn it, I work every day of my life. I have more jobs than you do. I go to work every day and I'm on time. You know what that means? That means I'm responsible. It has nothing to do with race, has nothing to do with political ideology. So let's stop being children about the conversation. Sir, you a grown ass man. What do you feel? What do you feel? I'm going to tweet that link at you. you I'm going to tweet that link at you from the African American History and Culture Museum, and I want you to retweet it. What do you feel? I ain't retweeting a damn thing you send to me. (laughs) What do you feel about white supremacy? Once again, answer the question. See, this is why people get uncomfortable with this, because it's being used as a bludgeon right now. I already told you that the idea that people with white skin or European ancestry are superior to people with dark skin or African ancestry okay. is abhorrent to me. All right, if now, that let's is your go. definition of white supremacy, then we agree in finding white supremacy abhorrent. Now, wh- there you go. Now, let's finally get to the wokeism part. Hmm. You said in the beginning of your commentary that wokeism or woke is actually a good term so that it can be utilized in a way strategically to uh, go after left-leaning ideology. You said that in your commentary to me, even though you agree that woke is an African-American term that means to be aware of injustice, Mm -hmm. to be aware of inequity, right? But you were okay with the mislabeling of wokeism against, against, individuals who are good faith operators because it is co-opted or has been co-opted by the Republican Party as a political tool. You're okay with that political tool, but then you push back on what you proclaim to be a political tool as it relates to the word white or the ideology of white supremacy. Do you not see the irony in your own proclamation? Well, as I said, I don't love the word woke. I don't think oh, okay. it's, I think it's possible that there could be a better term for what we're fighting against, but you can't look at me and say this isn't a real thing. What is woke? Wokeness is usually used, as far as I can tell, to refer to kind of a bundle of progressive ideologies on topics especially of race, gender, and sexuality. Okay. So um, would you consider, let's say, police reform? That was a big Black Lives Matter movement. They wanted police reform. Not criminal justice reform. I think everybody does. But police reform in particular. Mm -hmm. Is that woke ideology? Well, it depends who you ask. I mean, I've, you've seen people on but your own network, you. like Anna Kasparian, I'm asking you. come out in favor of, you. of more policing. I'm asking you, sir, what do you believe? What I believe about police reform? I believe we need law and order in our streets. Do you believe those who engage in police reform movements are engaged in woke ideology or woke policy? Hmm. That would be that would fall under the general definition of the term. Yes, I think racial, gender, and sexual liberation movements tend to always fall under that term. Let me give you a stat you may not be aware of. Uh, you can check out my information on NBC. You can check out my information via Gallup. You can also check out my information um, via Reuters. Ninety-four percent, ninety-four percent of Americans believe police reform is required. Mm -hmm. Out of that 94 percent, 68 percent believe that it needs to be either dramatic, meaning aggressive, um, or uh, more than it's being done currently in their own local city. Okay, so the vast majority of Americans, Democrats, Republicans, independents, individuals that consider themselves to be non-political, they all agree at a tune of 94 percent that police reform is required. Now, well, you I'm have curious what my these show. numbers would look like if you started getting into specific policies. Okay. You can often get huge majorities to agree to poll propositions that are very vague if you phrase them in the correct way. I'm okay. sure you could get people to agree to similarly vague pronouncements about law gotcha. and order or so you're saying, crime. So you're saying the people polled were dumb? I'm not saying they're dumb. I'm just they saying just didn't know what they were polling asking. can be. Large majorities of people said we should bomb Agrabah one time. You know, the fictional gotcha. kingdom from Aladdin? Hmm. That's your answer. Yes, polling okay. is very malleable. Yes. All right. And and you're the Depending editor of you the Daily question, Caller? You can get large uh, majorities in favor of, of overturning Roe v. Wade or opposing it, for example, depending on gotcha. how you phrase and ask the question. This was what demonstrated about, what about, numerous times. What about, things, 
Well, let's get to a specific policy since you have offered that as your rebuttal. Uh, what about this is a very specific policy. Maternity leave to extend maternity leave for mothers uh, to make it more congruent with, let's say, you know, models that exist in UK nations. Uh, mm -hmm. What would you say to that? Is that a woke policy to you? So I am incredibly pro expanding maternity leave, actually. OK, um, is it a woke policy, though? I wouldn't consider it a woke policy. Why is it not a woke policy? That policy is being led by the same individuals you just listed to me as being for police reform. Well, not entirely. Josh uh, Hawley. And no, is no, pro, uh, nor is police reform entirely led by well, the Well, look at this. Josh Hawley and Mitt Romney have both proposed uh, large child tax credits. Does that make Josh Hawley and Mitt Romney woke, for example? Yes. It makes them engaged in woke policies. Yes, sir. Well, all right, then. <laughs> all right. See how that works? I okay. see where you're coming from here. All like right. I said, I not my favorite it. term, but it is fun to talk about. All right, man. You have a good day, Dad. Okay, new Dad. 